Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are doing the advent of code puzzle. The git repository is linked in the description below. And if you want to see all of my trials and tribulations, you can see the full recording as a member of this channel. It's that time again. <laughs> the first puzzle has released. So let's look at what it actually entails. So let's see here. First day, calorie counting. Uh, calorie counting. Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food, but they need a lot of magical energy to deliver presents for Christmas. For that, their favorite snack, a special type of star fruit that only grows in deep in the deep jungle, and the elves have bought. Uh, brought you to their annual expedition to groove where the fruit grows. To supply enough magical energy, the expedition needs to retrieve a minimum of 50 stars by de December 25th. Although the elves assume that the groove has plenty of fruit, fruit and you decide to grab, uh, grab any fruit you see along the way just in case. Collecting stars by solving puzzles. Two puzzles be made available on each day of the advent calendar and the second puzzle is unlocked when you complete the first. Each puzzle grants you one star. Good luck. So the, it's the same rules as every, uh, every year. Uh, the jungle must be too overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access the, uh, from the air. The elves expedition traditionally goes on foot. As your boat approach land, the elves begin taking inventory of their supplies. One important consideration is food in particular. The number of calories each elf is carrying, your puzzle input. The elves take turns writing down the number of calories contained by various meals. Uh, snacks and ra uh, rations, etc., uh, that they bought with them. E item per line. Each elf separates their own inventory from previous elf's inventory, if any, by a blank line. For example, you have the elf's uh, finish writing in the item calories end up with the following list. Okay, in the list, there represents calories of food carried by five elves. The first elf carrying food with 1000, 2000 and 3000 calories, a total of 6000 calories. The second elf carries one food item with 4000 calories. The third elf is carrying food with 5000 and 6000 calories, a total of 11000. Uh, the fourth elf is carrying 7, 8 and 9000 calories, a total of 24000 calories. And the fifth elf is carrying food with an item of 10000 calories. In this case, the elves get hungry and needs extra snack. They need to know which elves to ask. They like to know who many cal how many calories are being carried by the elf carrying the most calories. In this example above, this is uh, 24,000 carried by the fourth elf. Uh, find the elf carrying the most calories how many total carries is that, uh, uh, is that elf carrying? Uh, so this is our puzzle input. And I, I think this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I think we should be able to solve this just by um, reading it in elf by elf and then keeping track on just who's having the most um, calories. And I guess the second question will need to have all the elves calories in order to do some kind of calculation. But we take that problem when we come to it. Uh, so let's say this is day one. So now I've saved the uh, specific input. So I, I've started by having a little bit of a setup here where I can start uh, this little work. And we have the inputs now, day one. So day one is all of these numbers, a lot of them. And then we have this first little script here that is just, um, hello world. 
So let's start with a string and call this calories and uh, let's go by having it like that. Um, so now we have the number of calories here. Hmm. So then we do it for each over calories split by line like that. Now we can do a system out print line, the specific string, just to see what we get. So the first output here should be pretty simply obtained. Took a while, yeah, so it outputs all of that. And let's do a trim as well. So we have a simple string, so uh, cal, so this is one calorie. If cal is blank, then we say this is a new elf. And most calories. So this is one one case where we have a number of calories, and then we have the most calories in another case. What is going wrong here? So we can't call it calories. I don't know why, <laughs> but we can't. Calorie. Um, so let's see here. Here we want to set the calories to um, zero and then uh, uh, continue. So we do another one. And we also want, before we set the zero to check if most calories is smaller than calorie, then we want most calories to be calorie. Like that. And then here we want to take calorie equals to integer parse int uh, cal. So that's the Gonna call it the string calorie, so we know that this is string, the string version. Mm. So let's do like that, and if we do most calories and print that out, we should get a value here, nine thousand. And I think that that was not the correct value, right? No. So, what have we done wrong here? Uh, mm -mm -mm. We will probably need another one down here as well. Just to ensure that it doesn't, it isn't the last one. So now we got a thousand, which is better. Ten thousand is the last one. But I wonder what happened here. That is the one that we want to pick up. Uh, so let's debug this one. So first one we got a thousand. And then we got two thousand, three thousand. And then we got a blank one. Oh, yeah. So that's the correct thing, we just need to add them up as well. A small fix. Um, 
so now we got 24,000. So let's look here. 24,000 is the correct one for this input. So now we need to do some standard get the file thingy. So we do a buffered reader, dr, let's do new buffered reader, new file reader, and then input day one txt. I think that is fine. This can throw exception. We have to get one of those. And here we can do um, while instead. I usually do that. While, uh, then we have a string line here while line is equal to br read line not equal to null that's a standard way of doing this so we are reading this buffered reader and put it in, into line but we also check this expression so we don't get read line gets a null uh, character back because if it's a null then we don't have any new inputs so that's what we want to check uh, file not found exception yeah because it's inputs so great that we could throw that the, that exception and see that so now we got 64,929 so let's see if that is the correct value Put that in here and submit. Yes! You get a gold star! I get a gold star! Everybody gets a gold star! We solved our first puzzle. Okay, next part. By the time you calculate the answer of the elf's question, you've already realized that the elf carrying the most calories of food might eventually run out of snacks. To avoid this unacceptable situation, the elves would instead like to know the total carries, uh, calories carried by the top three elves carrying the most calories. That way, if uh, even if one of those elves run out of snacks, they still have two backups. In the example above, the top three elves are the fourth elf of calories, the third elf and the fifth elf. Um, the sum of these calories of the three elves is 45,000. Find the top three elves Carrying the most calories. How many calories are those in total? So as I said, we probably need to have all of the answers and, and this is so few of them probably so we can just do a list of them. Um, integer calorie list, new array list, like that. And then we just add them up here. Um, calorie that. And then we do the last one down here. And then we can down here take the calorie list. and sort with a comparator. So let's do like this, A, B, where A uh, minus B. Could that be it? Try that first and see what we get. Um, okay, so line is already defined up here. Of course, let's try it again. So that worked just fine. So let's see how this 
list a sorter. that so either we want to sort it one way or we want to sort it the other way so let's look here it's sorted in the opposite way that I wanted because I want to have the largest values first we just flip this around and then we will get um, yeah, so we need to run the debugging so now we will get them sorted in the right way. So now we can just system print out calorie list get zero plus. So I'm just gonna do the, the three here. Uh, zero, one, and two. So we will get three values of that sorted list. We get 45,000 and that was our result. So we go back here and change back to the while loop instead. So we'll have the file input. And then we get the value of 193,697. So let's put that in. And we get a gold star. You get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. We have solved day one. <laughs> so that was not that hard. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.